I might send in here. Uh, this is my chicken coop. And today I want to show you how I'm going to automate my uh, chicken coop door. My problem is we have to always come out here to let the chickens out. We have to open up this big bulky door. But what I want to do is create a small section of door here that can slide and use actually my home automation, my Google Home, to open and close the door whenever we want from wherever we want. So for the door material, I found this grill that people use for protection on their screen doors and things. I'm going to cut this down to size to be able to use in my opening. How I'm going to uh, mount that door is with these little rollers. These are little screen rollers you can just find at places like Home Depot. And we found this truck, which is just a, basically a roofing gutter. But it has this little lip here, like a U type of thing, where this hanger, shower door hanger, fits really great. And it keeps the wheel in place. And I'm going to mount a little piece of metal on the back side of this so that this wheel won't be able to lift up and down. So I'm going to mount this piece of wood uh, onto the door, mount my track on, uh, put my wheel on there, mount this grate on there. I'm going to have two of these wheels and it will move, slide the door back and forth. But the meat and potatoes of this whole thing is right here. This is a outdoor actuator, weatherproof actuator from Progressive Automations. They make the best actuators out there and I use them in all my projects. And this one happens to be a PA06 model, uh, which has a six inch throw and it can move 180 pounds. Now it's a 12 volt DC, uh, that's what it takes. And so this plunger will come out here to about six inches. My second piece right here Take a look at this board. Um, it can be, I bought this one off of Amazon. It looks like this. It's called the MH Cozy, I guess. But what this is, it's a smart switch relay module. This one has two relays on it. The power goes here. It doesn't matter if it's plus or minus. So I found a adapter that we had in the garage. That's just a 12 volt adapter. Uh, I cut off the end and I put it in here. So on this side of the relays, um, I can operate this board and throw the two relays at the same exact time. And so you take your, your actuator and you mount it to the two middle screws. And so what'll happen is when you push the button, it'll move the center connected to these two, or it'll move the center to these. So it's gonna be switching back and forth between this and this. So what I've done here is for the negative side, I put the negative on the outsides and I put the positive line to the two inside screws. So that happens when it moves over here, it'll get one line positive for this one and the other line will go negative and that will make the actuator move in one direction. If it flips over to the other side, it now changes for this one to be negative and this one to be positive. There's instructions on this home automation device that will tell you how to link it up with your Google Home. So when, when that's done, it'll appear in your Google Home and I named it uh, Chicken. So Chicken here has an on or off. So right now it's just in the on state. So when I push this button here from anywhere, in the home or even outside the home that I wanted to let my chickens out before I got home or something like that. Um, I'll push this button. These relays will flip their states and flip the voltage. The, the actuator will start moving. So what I've come up with, you see this original piece right here. Um, I just unscrewed this, took the wheel off, and I had a piece of square tubing like this. I just cut the edge, cut the section out, drilled a hole in it, so my end assembly looks like this. 
what that'll do is we'll just slide it on here and the door when it screens hanging from this it won't be able to be moved up and down or it won't be able to be taken off so those pesky animals like coyotes or raccoons won't be able to lift the door off so far we modified this with just this, these white pieces here these new pieces just framing out the this little opening right here for our screen. We have attached the screen to these pieces of wood so it'll be sealed. And what we'll do is when we know the final size, we'll screw this screen onto this one through the back and then cut this hole out. And we'll cut these rails. We're gonna mount hold the sliding door and that's where we're at now so I welded these pieces onto the door and secured the screen all the way around now I'll cut out this section and so this slides on here pretty nicely. I bent this channel up a little bit to add more security. So here's the final product, my chicken coop door. And uh, what you have here is I mounted these, uh, put these two pieces of wood here to mount my actuator and my mechanism to move slide the door open and close. So if you come to this side, you said I just put some washers in there just to ensure that my actuator is gonna move nice and smoothly. I have this bolt with thread lock just in case. And um, on this side here, I have some thread lock on, on the actuator well, so, as well as some washers here to keep the movement going. So what I can do is from anywhere actually probably in the world i can just push this button on my home uh, google home automation app and um you can open the door here so you see these this whole mechanic here it's kind of i want to do an exercise in in mechanics right so this is a six inch throw uh, actuator from Progressive Automations. And this, what it has to do is, is open the door 18 inches. So that's like a one to three ratio. So what I had to do is create this arm, this leverage arm, and this is three and a half inches. And since I have to move the door three times the distance, three and a half inches times three is 10 and a half inches. So this, from this point to this point is 10 and a half inches. That will give me the throw that I want of 18 inches. And um, all this is put together uh, with the central, I guess, piece here from Progressive Automations, which again is the uh, weatherproof version of their actuator. So I can also, while I'm in the home, tell Google to close the door or open the door. So I can demonstrate that. Hey Google, close the chicken coop door. Sure, turning off the chicken coop door. So there you have it. I can also schedule when to open the store or when to close the store uh, through the Google uh, Home Automation app. And um, so I guess that's it. I hear hopefully Progressive Automations is soon to release there. Uh, home automation circuitry and it'll be a, a real real nice addition to their family of products.